There's not going to be a cocktail party tonight. Oh. He said he knows what he wants to do and just wanted to go straight to the rose ceremony. I know that's upsetting, but I respect his choice. And that's what we're going to do. I'll see you at the rose ceremony. Thank you. OK, I'm freaking out. My worst nightmare. I'm upset. I just really wanted to talk to him tonight. I am very sorry, ladies, that this took time from you guys. I'm, I'm very disappointed right now. I mean, I feel like all of this could have been avoided if the whole topic of, like, bullying and toxicity wouldn't have been brought up in the first place of last rose ceremony. Katie, I'm sorry, but you did bring it up. Pretty much every scenario where there has been drama, you have been a part of. OK, I don't know where this is coming from. And I'm sorry you're, like, upset, but why are you concerned about me? What's your concern? What happened tonight has nothing to do with me. And yet, you have Serena C coming at me the second she finds out that there is yet another rose ceremony that's cut short. What the hell? Tonight, Matt is sending home the girls he does not have a connection with. And based on her reaction towards me, sounds like she could be one of them. We have to all walk into a rose ceremony and cross our fingers and pray to God that whatever conversations we've had previous to this is enough. I hope that I get a rose tonight. And I hope that he sees something in me. I, I want to be here, and I hope that I do get to have that conversation, because I just, I can't. Like, this cannot be what's happening. I don't know if I've ever been this scared or anxious in my entire life.